Hi, this is Nancy with On Point TV, and we're ready to start a whole new quilt series. And this is going to be called Variations of a Rail Fence. Now, some of you might recall when we taught how to do the rail fence in the very beginning of our On Point series, and it was part of the Learning to Quilt series. Now, that happened about three years ago. There's a lot of videos for the Learning to Quilt series. The rail fence was one of our videos very first. It is episode 103. So you can refer back to that. There's also a book available for all of the um, Learning to Quilt series and just a lesson for the rail fence. So all those things can be found on the onpoint-tv.com website. So now is time for the rail fence quilt show. So here is just a few rail fences that I've made. So this is actually the one from the Learning to Quilt series. And this is the block. So this is the rail fence block. In the case of this quilt, I kind of use those rail fences as an extra block to frame some of the more important piece blocks, if you will. So th with this, I use kind of the same color, so it's all kind of monochromatic. This next one was made of my Learning to Quilt series, and this is made by my friend Laura. So this is her version. And again, she used some very monochromatic colors. And I don't know if you can see the quilting on this, but I love the quilting here goes on the lines and then across the line. So this actually looks like little one inch squares. I think the quilter did a wonderful job with that. This next one is one that I'll be working on, but this is a rail fence block. So this is the simplest form of a rail fence block. Sometimes you'll make the quilt going all the way across a row, adding a row at a time. Sometimes you'll make it just in square. So this is my preference. It'll definitely when I'm doing two different variations of a colorway. So I'm going to set this one over here. This was probably the easiest rail fence I've ever made because it was made from a jelly roll. So what is a jelly roll? A jelly roll is very popular. You will find them in all of the quilt sh shops. So this is one and the jelly rolls are cut two and a half inches wide and there's usually all of the variations of the fabrics that are in a collection. So all the different colorways, sometimes they duplicate, sometimes they don't go into any quilt shop and you will find jelly rolls or design rolls they're also called. So for this we just took those strips and sewed them randomly together and that created this rail fence. So a very simple rail fence. You could get this one done in no time. It doesn't have much of a border yet. I'll put another border on there sooner or later and I promise to show you when I do. This is the one that kind of got me excited about doing a show on rail fence. It's called a scrappy rail fence. So you can see all the different color variations throughout the entire quilt. And my intention from the very beginning of starting this scrappy rail fence is that I would put applique on it. I really love adding applique to simple backgrounds. So this one was all kind of scrappy in colors. So I just pulled fabric out of my stash, cut them all into the size that I needed, and that created the background for this. And then I did applique quilting. So this particular design will be available for purchase. So you'll be able to um, find that on the um, onpoint.com website for purchase with all these appliques. Now some of you, if you watch the show very often, might notice this border. This border is one that I did in one of our Facebook Lives. So it was done quite a while ago. So search through our um, YouTube channel and find the video on making this perfect quarter inch border. I think you won't be disappointed with that. The next one, I don't have the quilt here. It's one that I made for my boss. He was supposed to retire again. He's been supposed to retiring a couple of times. So we thought maybe if we made him a riding into the sunset kind of a quilt and we all signed our names to it that he would really retire and take a break now. Well, that didn't exactly happen, but he does love the quilt. So you'll see on this quilt, I variegated the colors so it looked kind of like a sunset. And you'll see that I have a dark color and a light color. And all of the light colors are where everybody used a Pigma pen, so that's a permanent marking Indian ink pen to sign on the quilt. So we signed well wishes. It was a really, really nice quilt, very easy to make, and everybody loved signing it for our boss. We love you, Herb.
This one is another one done with a jelly roll. This was a black and white jelly roll, and I don't know if you can see it, but there are variations on these. So it's not solid black, solid white, although it really kind of sort of does look like it. And I'm going to show you how to do this technique. This is what I'm going to call a mitered rail. So I'm going to take the simple rails, cut them in half, and then show you how to piece that. And this one, our Gina made, this is our wonky rail fence. It's a little bit crazy piece. So when Gina made it, she just used a background fabric and she just pieced it random, one after another, where they went wherever they wanted to, different sizes all over the board. Really, really fun. She's got it made this far, and when she gets this completely made, we will be showing you that quilt, and this will be her encouragement to get this quilt completely made. I took Gina's variation and made it into another version of a wonky, crazy rail fence. This I actually did with paper piecing. So I'll show you how to do both of these techniques. One with the paper piecing and one with just a foundation kind of crazy piecing. And this one is made with some of my favorite African fabrics, just a big collection of them and a simpler sashing. This also will be a bigger quilt at some point and I'll show you those. So those are all of the rail fences that I want to show you. So there's the straight rail fence, the mitered rail fence, and the wonky rail fence. That will be three episodes coming up. Keep watching the show and we'll talk to you soon.